would you look at that every single main galaxy in all of the domes have been taken care of truly magical hello hello everyone i am andrew dorn also known as the 12th gun here on youtube today is some more let's play super mario galaxy luigi edition in the last episode we finished up melty molten galaxy and took care of snowcap galaxy the hungry luma mission in this episode we will be taking care of the gateway to starry sky the green star galaxies as well as yet another hungry luma but I realized I forgot to show off one last thing uh, in the previous episode, and the reason why I forgot is because I didn't write it down anywhere in my notes. But we have a shortcut here that takes us directly to the garage, which is very handy. So that way we don't have to take, you know, so many, you know, little teleporters. We can just take that one right there. And also, it's a good opportunity to get that one up just so we stock up. Alright, so we fly all the way directly up here. How very convenient. And now, we want to go all the way over here so that way we can get to the gateway. Now, here's a, a fun little peek behind the curtain thing. Uh, when I was doing my uh, first playthrough and then also my practice playthroughs, I actually fell off the um, the that little ring around the, the garden dome several times. It was kind of hilarious. Alright, so, we are finally back here at the Gateway to the Starry Skies. It's, honestly, it's really amazing. Um, the music is just absolutely wonderful. And it is pretty much full circle. Um, we aren't, this isn't the final episode, we still have one more to go. But, you know, the fact that, you know, it's towards the end and we came back to the Gateway one more time is absolutely wonderful. <sighs> this planet, it's very dear to me. I looked forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow, Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part about it is that it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the stick. If you collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you ha use my power somewhere else. You've transformed into Flying Luigi! Spin when jumping to fly! And he gets a really cool looking uh, suit. And we can just uh, fly around. My personal recommendation is try to get the um, the purple coins that are in the air, like in these rings. So that is my personal uh, take. Also, this music is really great, so I'm just going to shut up and let you listen to it.
And there we go, our one and only Red Power Star. I do not wish to save my game, and now it's time to go take care of that Hungry Luma mission. We have 4,000 star bits. I think we should be good. And also, we can now use the red power star to fly around. It's really great and honestly, just a very handy way to get around the observatory. You know, assuming you don't run into the, the main spire of the observatory. And also, with the um the red power star you can actually fly under the gateway and grab yourself a one-up so that's very nice uh let's there we go and hello hungry luma yes i do have a bunch of star bits you need 1200 well thankfully i have over 4000 so eat up they are quite delicious and full of star power that's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform! And away he goes. What a majestic creature. Boo's Boneyard Galaxy has appeared. And let's go! Also, we get the, the red stream, that's really cool. Boo's Boneyard Galaxy racing the spooky speedster. I vaguely remember this mission. Not a lot, but... Oh, wait, is this the one where we... Oh, okay, this one took me a couple of tries. Uh, mainly because I didn't quite get it. Which is like, a sounds really dumb coming from me. Or also, depending on if you know me personally, not dumb at all. But, um, I didn't quite uh, fully grasp how you use the boo in this level. Uh, but I, I figured it after like my second or third attempt. But, let's get started. Hee hee hee, so you're after it too? You'll have to race me for it. Yeah, sure, let's go. The visor is down. Hee hee hee, here we go. I honestly forget the voice that I do for the boo, the boo speedster. So it's like, I'm not 100% sure. Also, uh, your vision gets really wonky. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Uh... There we go. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one up. There we go. Grab that. Grab that. Alright, here we go. Shut up, battery meter. Uh, oh, dang it. Okay. He's probably, like, right behind me, so we got to be really fast about this. Uh, and go through there. There we go. Okay, we are doing good. Just remember to use your invisibility so that way you can just keep on going. And we got the goal. Whew! That actually took one try, holy crap. He 57 seconds and 30 milliseconds. Well, a promise is a promise, so take this. The maximum amount of time you can take, I think, is a minute 30. Uh, but I would be curious as to seeing what y'all's best time are. 
I would say leave a video response, but that's not a thing on YouTube anymore. That is a thing on Vlare. I haven't used my Vlare account in ages, though. Just because I've got so much stuff going on. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> Check that out. One is playing video games, two is time management, and three is... Oh, shoot, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I just sort of... Ah, time ma I'm getting better with my time management, but it's a... Uh... <sighs> Alright, so here we are at the, uh, the Green Star Galaxy. I did write down, like, Rolling Gizmo, Bubble Blast, and Loop de Swoop all, like, as is, but we can really do these in different order. In fact, I'm gonna be doing Loop de Swoop Galaxy first. Here we go, we get a green launch star and everything. Waha! Flying here. And Loop to Swoop Galaxy, the galaxy's greatest wave. Let's go. Oh, I remember this one. This one gave me so much trouble. Okay. Well, it does have some lovely music, so. I am just going to uh, shut up and play the game, and uh, hopefully we can do good. I doubt it though, but let's just, uh, yeah, let's just try. Uh, <laughs> you again, back for more ready surfing? This could, uh, this course is a monster, you sure you want to try it? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, you got three minutes to get back here. Stay calm and just enjoy the surf. Uh, shoot, okay. For a second, I couldn't remember how to control, okay. Of course I died. Slow and steady wins the race. Holy crap. Wow, a minute, 898 race time. Nice. That is not an easy time to get on this course. Well, hey, everyone wants to see you drop in and say hello. Holy crap. That took a while. <laughs> also, the, um, uh, like when I cut in all of those deaths, my lives are all over the place because it's like every single time I would get like a bunch of one ups. So it's like I would lose a life, but then I would gain a bunch of lives, and then I would lose another life, and then gain a bunch more lives. It was, it was intense. <laughs> Holy crap! We have two more galaxies to go through. <laughs> All right, that galaxy is complete. We got 14 coins out of that and 13 star bits. I do not wish to save my game. In fact, I want to go back to the green star galaxies. Well, I almost fell off the. <laughs> I almost said planet, but no, it's an observatory. Alright, so we did loop de swoop. Let's go for door number two, which is uh, Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay then. 
There we go. Let's blast off. <laughs> Team Rocket's blasting off again. This time they're going to roll go uh, rolling Gizmo Galaxy, Gizmo Gears and Gadgets. This I remember not being as bad as Loopy Swoop, but I still had a hard time with it. Um, there are some things I want to show off um, that require not getting on the um, the ball right away. So we're gonna show that off as soon as possible. Uh, first things first, there's a lot of star bits here. Uh, I recommend getting the star bits just so that way they're done. Um, also going along the ledge and taking care of the Goombas just so that way they aren't in your way. Kick him, there we go. All right, so we have these uh, blocks here. We can jump up and then uh, do a backflip here and do this little number. And if you go all the way to the edge, you can see that there was a blue rupee made out of Starbit. So that's really cool. All right, so now we got to make the trek back to our ball. And hopefully we don't die along the way. All right, I hope you're ready. Because I both am and am not ready for this. If I can just get on the ball, there we go. Uh, just a, a quick little reminder that jumping will, um, to some extent, reset how your Wii Remote is calibrated for the ball. At least it feels like it when I play it. Um, so, oh shoot. So it's best when you um, you jump you uh, put your Wiimote directly up and then jump again. So that way that is taken care of. Also, uh, bumping into enemies will uh, knock your ball back. So you wanna be careful. <laughs> Unlike what I was doing right there, or I wasn't being careful. All right. Um... Let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the enemies out, like I suggested to do on the first attempt. Also, um, when running along here, uh, spinning into enemies is actually a good way of stopping your momentum, which is very handy. It just, it cuts it down a little bit and every little bit helps. And I know my battery is not the greatest right now, but um, that's just what we're gonna have to roll with. Be very careful of slopes, um, because as would the case be in real life, uh, they will mess with your momentum. Oh no! Okay. There we go. And then bounce against that. And jump. I always try to do a jump immediately after jumping, like I said, to kind of reset how my Wii Remote is read by the game. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to roll on in. Just let this guide me forth like some divine force all right here we've got it looks like a d6 um but as you can see it only has four dots on either side so it's like a cursed d6 uh yes our good friends the babombs uh touching them will launch you uh into the sky so do be careful my friends Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. Whoo! <sighs> okay, let's just let this take us away. Alright, let's just go forward and you can get as many as you want just to try and be safe. Um, that is probably the only time you're really safe enough to uh, collect star bits oh okay whoo good golly and there's luigi mid pose all right that is all taken care of excellent not that bad compared to loopty swoop 
Let's get that star and get out of here. I do not wish to save my game at this very moment in time. Whoo wee! Alright. Let's go and take care of the final one, Bubble Blast Galaxy, which is over here. Ah. Also, that uh, orange warp pipe will take you back uh, to the observatory, so if you were wondering how to, to get back, that's how you do that. Okay, then. Let's get... To Bubble Blast Galaxy. Alright, mission of the day is the Electric Labyrinth. So you gotta be careful. Oh, yes, I remember this. Uh, this one's a doozy. Uh, you have starships to collect. And uh, you are in a bubble. Um, so have fun with that. This mission is actually pretty fairly open-ended in terms of like uh, Mario Galaxy missions where you can do any uh, one that you feel like first and uh, it's honestly it's really cool. Uh, you do have to be careful though. Uh, this mission is super hard. If you uh, touch the, the electric wires you'll lose your bubble and you will uh, die <laughs> which is not fun. I have died several times on this mission, so you, you kind of figure, you know, just maybe for some, uh, this mission isn't too bad, um, but for me it was definitely very difficult. But also, to be fair, I'm not good at platformers. I love them. They're an absolute blast for me to play, but I am just horrible at them. There we go. Let's just grab some more. Also, be very careful when moving your pointer around. Because you don't want to move it too fast, or else it'll register as a spin, and that will uh, remove your bubble, and you'll die. So there's like a, 101 ways to die, all of which involve your bubble being burst. There we go. We'll grab those star bits. And, you know, I put us next to that war pipe, so let's do that. All right. Alright, let's just go. We get the the starship early, but then we have to be careful as we get through. Alright. Oh, that was close. I'll be honest, I'm not sure which of these is the easiest. They're all they're all equally hard. I would say this one is definitely the hardest because you have these uh these fire blasters that will definitely hurt you um so you have to be careful and then you have to like go and try your hand at getting back there also you cannot get uh back onto the platforms i have tried it doesn't work it's basically the game's basically programmed where the second you burst your bubble and you're not on solid ground, you will die. You'll just get sucked into the black hole. So that's something that you gotta keep in mind. All right. Just be very careful. All right. Um, also, if I recall correctly, if you die at any point during this mission, you have to do the whole thing over again, which is kind of a jerk move, but it is what it is. Let's just grab these star bits. Okay. And fly away. Let's grab that launch star. And that sends us all the way around. We break into the crystal and we grab all those star bits. And here's where the fun begins, guys. This part is really hard because uh, you got bullet bills going after you. Which is not the best. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta... You gotta deal with it. Okay. Ooh. Grab those. 
Okay. Grab that one up. We are at 53 lives. Not that bad. Uh, also, sometimes the bullet bills, uh, timing is actually really good for them, and they'll just, like, slip through the various obstacles without too much issue, which is just crazy. Uh, yeah, let's just gun it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, at least I got a bunch of, uh, star bits on the way down. Holy crap, that was terrifying. Oh, no, you don't have to do the mission over again? Okay. I misremembered. Well, that's good, at least. Okay, let's just... Keep on going. Okay. Whew. You don't want to take any risks. You just want to do this nice and slow. <sighs> Gosh darn, this is this is a bit intense. Alright. Alright, let's go around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Oh, man. Momentum. <sighs> A momentum of function of mass and velocity is conserved within portals. Or between portals? I think it was between portals. No! No! <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. This is like the la- God damn it. <laughs> that was the last- This is the last mission of the episode. And we are having a horrible time. <laughs> okay. Whew. Gotta be careful. You gotta know when to gun it and when not to. And that will save you a lot of headache. Okay. Okay, it's all good. Everything's good. Everything is groovy. Get that one up. Uh, okay. I will say that um, the bright side to all the shut up battery meter um, is that there are a lot of star bits. So if you like found a point to just stop and grab star bits, you could actually get a ton of which is very nice. Okay. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. Got that star. My hands are sweaty. Uh, no, I don't wish to save my game. We now have enough star power to go to another world, but before that we must help your special one. Mm. Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Eh, not yet. I have to end the episode first. So please, uh, please speak to me again when you are ready. Yes, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be going back to the Galaxy Reactor Fate of the Universe mission. And we will be conquering that for the second time. And then uh, that will be the end of the Let's Play. And then after that, will be a bonus episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys then. Bye bye